Alrighty, next up on Haller for an hour is Classical Music and Biotope Aquarium Simulator. <laughs> this is what it says on the on the tin. This is a, a aquarium simulator. It is a let's let's make a fish tank and and raise fish. It just seems so chill. I just wanted to check it out. I like chill things. Let's let's do the tutorial tank. Sounds good. Get us get set up a new aquarium. You start with an empty aquarium with 200 euro balance and some items. I believe this game game comes from Germany. Given the uh, German option and also the use of euros, uh, you get some of instructions. Okay, cool. Uh, hard. Oh, choose your regional water water hardest. Wish middle or hard. What, um, on golf, can, I, I assume this is like soft, medium, and hard. I get it. The water hardness. If you guys aren't aware, water does have a hardness. Uh, if if I take a shower and it's soft water, it tends to leave my skin silk, silky, silky smooth. But if it's hard water, I, I get, it gets kind of sticky. If you've ever taken a shower and you notice that some water makes you your skin smooth and some makes your skin skin sticky, that is water hardness for you. Hard is hard. Your tap water is soft, which is a good match for an Amazon tank. Manage with water color will be easy and almost take care of itself. Okay. Yes, that's what I thought. The food goal is still at zero. It is. There has not been any money in September. No donations in this September yet. I'm very sad. All right, what do we got? This is this is a uh, this, this is a tank. Okay. Uh, first steps: install filter, navigate to the tank editor, and find the needed asset. Select and pull it into your tank. All right, we have a lot of shit. All right, let's put a filter in. There we go. That was easy. Heart. I like the I like the tutorial. <laughs> Uh, activate filter. Switch to aquarium view, view and open the filter control panel. Okay. Turn on the filter. Ah, yes. Mains on. There we go. Yeah, I'm going to turn up the sound just because I enjoy the sound. It's, it's good ambience. Something like a water filter. It's a good, um, good white noise. Uh, go to the tech area and select a nice background. Okay. Let's do that. There. Stone. We finished this part of the tutorial. Good. Uh, shopping tour. Navigate to the blue light shop and buy five decorative stones. Okay. Sure love decorative stones. Let's get, uh... Let's get red. I like red. Wow, that cost us, uh... That cost us almost 40 euros to buy five rocks. <laughs> okay. Natural trees, those different amount of regions of the world, depending on the hype the minerals contain, can have a water hardening effect. Oh, okay, so the rocks can fuck up the water, or make it harder, anyways. Got it. What do you want me to buy? Seaweed? Okay, let's see. Uh, let's see. Uh, but yeah, this, this, what's it do? Does this clean the tank? Let's do, let's do red. I like red. How many are we buying? How many did you want me to buy? I forget. They want me to buy one? Sure, I should get a real pet fish then stream them. <laughs> it's exciting. There we go. I assumed it was five, but I wasn't sure. Buy five tetra fish. Oh, tetras, huh? Okay. Well, let's see. Well, easy, easy, and medium. Yeah, these are these. So these are the aggressive ones, semi-aggressive. Okay. Let's mix. Let's mix uh, one of each of these, except for the aggressive one. Well, actually, let's load the aggressive one just for fun. I'll get another one of these. There we go. Wait, I'm a pet for charm. <laughs> it does color the text. You have done it correct. Turns Alex into a fish charm billion. A fish charm billion. This is interesting. So, it, you know, at one point, point, I actually, by here, of at least 150 watts. You know, at one point, I actually made a, a Vaporeon Charmillion mix, just, it was kind of, it was kind of a dedication to Mizuko a bit. What am I buying? I, I keep paying attention and losing track. Okay. Aha, uh, water heater, sure. Uh, maximum power. That one. 
I don't know if that's a good idea, but let's do it. I I did. I made a. I think I called it a steam million. Steam million. Place acquired stones your tank. Okay. All right. Can I just like boop, boom boom boom. Put them on the sides like this. And I want like one right in the middle. It's the, it's the important one. There we go. Place a quarry plants. Okay. Put like one here. One over. High in the water filter because water filters are stupid. Actually, I've kind of. Yeah, that works. Uh, one. A big one right here. I like how they're different sizes. One right in the front, and then one to the there. It's looking pretty good. So okay, let's place the heater in. Sure. There we go. Simple as that. Would love to be a big fat fat for charm. Would be fed with plate prey and a nice fat bed. Oh, you are silly. Switch your current view and open the heater control panel. Turn on the heater. Set it to twenty five Celsius. Okay. Uh. Sounds good. We just have to watch the temperature of the fish, I guess. The figure out what the fish want, set it to that. I think it says in the fish description, so. Await conditions. Of activate time lapse and wait till the water temperatures reach at least 20 Celsius. Where do I see this? I don't. How do I. Oh. No, but how do I know what temperature it is? Like I know the set point of this, but where's where's the information to telling me what the temperature is? Ah, here it is. Okay, I had to hit the I, and then I could find out the pH, alkal alkal alkalinicity, carbonate hardness, general hardness, dissolved oxygen, dissolved CO two, ammonia, nitrogen, nitrate, nitrogen, nit 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 nitrite, nitrogen, kind of conductivity. Yeah, this is a full fledged this is a full fledged simulator. <laughs> this is really kind of cool. I appreciate this. So it means I'm going to murder fish, probably. I'm sorry. All right, what are we doing? Putting the fish in. All right, put you in first. There you go. There we go. I'll immediately going over there for some reason. All right. Navigate to medications and select the fish food. Why is that a medication? Food, chemicals, and medic. Medi What's this? Water change with tap water. Hello. How's it going? What is this? Oh, thank you. Food. Uh, chicken? Yeah. And spaghetti? Thank you. Thank you very much, dear. Why are you washing a fish tank? This is a fish aquarium simulator. It's actually quite cool. It seems to look, it's very highly detailed. Look at this. It has like everything. It keeps track of everything. So this is a proper sim. I actually really like this. You ever take care of fish? No. Neither have I. So, this is a f so these will probably die. That would verge into the rock, though. That's very impressive. What are we doing? What, what is the current? It's called Biotope, by the way. Um, I actually didn't pay attention to what it wanted me to do next. What did it want me to do next? <laughs> Put a cat in the aquarium. Oh, boy. <laughs> Thank you for food, dear. <laughs> he already left, but I will share that he did th that you... <laughs> I, I will I will I will share with him that you did that Syria. That's amusing. I should show the steam when I finish with this game, somebody remind me to show the picture of my uh of my uh Steam Million. Actually I should get that drawn again. I should get that form drawn. It only got drawn once. But it's something I should get a I should get a picture of my my uh, aquatic form, my aquatic char form with Mizuko. I bet he'd like that. I bet he'd have a I bet he'd enjoy that. What am I doing, by the way? Hi, Charm. I can doodle. Well, all right. Like I said, I'll share with you. Just stick around. I'll share at the end of this game, between games. Uh, did anybody recognize what the tutorial wants to be? Oh, here it is. Oh, yes. Right. Food. That's right. I need to feed things. I was also getting distracted by this. What does this do? Water change of tap water. Oh, I can change the like pH and stuff. Ah, okay. That might be useful. Anyways, let's go ahead and... How, how much am I feeding? 
Also, the lovely Aragon made spaghetti and also mixed in chicken to it. So it is a chicken spaghetti. Looks pretty. It looks simple, but yummy. Okay, we need 0.2 grams. Here we go. Don't forget, you collect the experience and reach level one. Wait, there's experience? I'm intrigued. Also, that, that wow, that fish is going right for it. How can I like, uh, I want to like move the, how do I move the camera around on this? That's what I'd like to know. I think it's just a traditional spaghetti sauce. New quest available time lapse. Quest? <laughs> this game has RPG systems. <laughs> Alright, what, what do we get? Get an overview of the conditions of your life forms. Okay. That's useful. Oh yes, we do have quests. Let's see here. Time lapse. If you're a patient, so you have things developed, use the time lapse feature, but be careful though, it's easy to overlook the Ethereum conditions while the time lapse is active. Only to find out your fish are ill or worse. Okay. I will accept this quest in a moment, but before I do this, I would like to figure out a okay, castle apparently sell things. Okay. That, nothing right now. I could sell the fish food, but. Fish do have stress. Yes, of course fish have stress. If you put like fish that don't like other fish in like this one's 28.1. I bet every fish here. Yeah, 35. That is not stress for some reason. How about you? You're stressed. See, it makes sense that all these fish are stressed because this one's semi-aggressive. So naturally, the other fish are like, oh, that guy is semi-aggressive. I don't really like him. So they're a little stressed. This Tetra does not give a shit, though. This Tetra is not stressed whatsoever. If you tap the glass, it also stresses fish out. Yes, this is true. Also, there's a screensaver mode. Which, there we go. That pauses the gameplay, and that way, if you just want to screensaver, there you go. That's pretty cool, actually. I like that. What I'd like to know, though, how do I move the camera view around? Um, shaking the bag to wake up the fishy? That also stresses. Yeah, don't tap the glass. Just basically don't disturb them. Fish are essentially, like, they're kind of skittish, admittedly, so you don't, don't freak them out. Um... I'd love to know how to like move the view around though. I'm just let's see filter lighting. Let's see. Oh, turn it off. We can also have a dimmer. We can have it like a little darker. But you can okay. This is being going to turn on and off at its own rate. Uh, let's see. Temperature is good still. Yep, it's staying at that. Uh, how do we actually move around this view? Let's see. Help. Uh, let's just look at the controls. Uh, controls. Okay, right mouse button, hold the physically drag items of the... Okay. Uh, left click to select objects. Okay, there you go. Hold to drag and move. Uh, mouse will zoom while dragging, time lapse. Hold to show icon items, I icons as picking aid. Oh, okay, 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 cool. There's a lot of like useful, like this makes it easy to find things. Like you can see there, when I hold shift, it highlights things. This is really well designed. I actually am quite impressed by this. Um, let's see. I would love to know, though, is there a way to move around on the, like, zoom around the tank? That'd be nice. I would think there would be. Uh, aquarium editor, city screen, analyze view. No. Start a new game, controls. There's gotta be a way to move around it. Right? Mm -hmm. Maybe not. I don't know. Tab below the eye. There's an eye. Household. So I have level one. Uh, I have expenses, like electricity and unpaid bills, okay? <laughs> Gotta also manage your fucking finances. You know, this is a fish nowhere, but it doesn't mean you don't have to do your 401k. You still have to do that. Um... <laughs> All right. I'm actually gonna pause for a second here. Uh, let's see. Don't worry. Yeah, I just I hit pause. Um, let, I really want to figure out if there's a way to move around for the, uh, you know, view. When I do enter this view, I can. I think I can move around. So I guess this is when I can move around, like in this view. 
I can kind of move around. This is all I can do, though. I can just do this. That's that's fine, I suppose. All right, let's let's begin the next quest. Um, okay. Accept. Accept quest time lapse. All right, what do you want me to do? Well, I don't know. I assume this. There, I did time lapse. Quest complete. Uh, use the time lapse feature. Conditions. Hold these conditions for 30 seconds. 30 seconds of time lapse. Something's going to die. I hold this for 30 seconds. Okay, there, did it. Nothing's dead? How's everything? Health 100. Oh, they're fine. Oh, they're actually learning to deal with stress. How nice. I got more XP. I'm really curious about this XP system. Income acquired, 10 euros. Hey, 10 euros for watching my fish. That's nice. I wish I could acquire 10 euros just by watching fish. That'd be nice. New quest available. Grandpa's favorite. Okay, sure. I'm amused by this. All right, let's keep going. I think the tutorial's already over, which is kind of short, but that's fine. The quest seemed to give me uh, things too, so let's see here. Uh, okay. Your grandpa asked you to set up a tank with two famous submarine models. Get these models from the accessory section of the store and place them in one tank. Okay. Hmm. Well, I, by the way, I'm going to be eating spaghetti as I play, which is fine. It's a chill game. All right, so we've got to go in the accessory section. Is that, uh, or if they mean the decoration section. Hmm. Oh, wait, I got to go to the store. Right. Kind of would like a different background, but I like this. This one's fine for now. Well, let's see. We need to find a ship. Submarine, specifically. This looks like where I'd find a submarine. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, yeah. I didn't even think about substrate. Uh, accessories, accessories. Yeah, this is Biotope, Aquarium Simulator. And it does seem fun. It has, like, it seems complex, but at the same time, it supplies you. Like, it has the complexity a simulator should have, but it also seems to have a good user. Like, the interface seems good. I, I see, I'm not intimidated by the interface. So it, it seems like a good balance of accessibility and detail. You can't hear well? Is the game too loud? No, the game's not too loud. Is it? Is the game too loud? It shouldn't be, but okay. I'm slow at changing. It's fine. Now I'm just in a place where I can't hear. Okay, fair. It's like, I think it's pretty chill. Uh, I can't find what I'm looking for, though. It. Uh, let's see here. Uh, the, 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 guy, the quest said... Uh, get these models from the accessory section of the store and place them in one tank. Two famous submarine models. Two famous submarine models that's supposed to be in the store. There they are. Too much money. How do I make money? Alas, I cannot find them. Min wait, minimum level? Level required two. Okay. Well, I guess we gotta hit level two then. How do we do this? Wait, 
We also don't have enough money, so we need more money, too. How do we acquire money? Well, I'm gonna let the fish just be for a bit. Maybe I'll get money off of them somehow. Uh, and in the meantime... Oh yeah, there's the title screen if you want the name of the game. Uh... How do we, how do we up our balance? And... Hi everybody who changed fan songs on YouTube the other day. I was wondering if you mind if I Arcus Oh, feel free! Feel free. Those are actually, in addition to being changed fan songs, they're actually gonna be used and shifted. So you're you'd essentially be doing an orchestrated version of one of the songs that'll be coming in my upcoming game shifted. So Ah, feel free. I'd love to hear that. Um so I don't know what we I guess we could sell something. We could sell the fish food. They don't need to eat. <laughs> Uh, but let's see. What else can we do? I, I, I'm currently at a loss of, like, what do I do at this point to make money? Because I need money to do more things. I don't have much, you know. Do I just want to advance time until something happens? Right, let's look at the help. Let's look, look at some more of this. So, actually, let's look at the roadmap, actually, while the fish swim around. So, the simu this simulation aims to replicate the experience and challenges of a real aquarium. The goal is for the player, uh, the goal for the player is to create a living space inside a virtual aquarium that offers optimal conditions for all inhabitants. Since most life forms and components interact with each other, you have to continually check whether the biological balance is still present. Often, you'll have to intervene in the course of things, and not all living creatures in your aquarium will get along with each other easily. Realism of the simulation is ensured by a real-time by real-time chemical equilibrium calculations in a way that has never been done before in a computer game, at least to our knowledge. That's cool. It is our goal to bring you closer to the fascinating underwater world and to virtually depict the fragility of these habitats in the rivers and lakes of our planets. Of our planet. Not planets. We don't have more than one, sadly. Signed, the MBL development team. Uh, these guys sound like they're really, you know, into what they're doing, and I like that. What is their development roadmap? To re reproduce a real aquarium exactly as, as possible is a lofty goal and our aim is high. We want to continually, de continuously develop and improve the simulation. We're looking forward to receiving your comments and suggestions for improvement. As long as the product is still in the early access phase, we will not have implemented all the features we have set ourselves to do. More detailed information about the status of the development schedule will be announced online. This is clearly a niche game, but for that niche, they are trying their damnedest. I could tell. This is, like, I could tell just by how things are set up that... There's a lot of effort being put into this. It's like Seaman. It's been a wow, Seaman. I haven't heard that game reference in a long time. That old Dreamcast game. That was a weird game. Also, Quero, you take your time on that orchestration. Uh, I don't mind if it'll take a while. No, no rush. Um, so let's see. Choose an empty tank. We'll start. We'll let you start more money on hand. Start versus starting with a stock tank and less money. Okay. So, controls, we already figured out the controls. Icon display can be activated holding the spacebar. In this mode, all objects in the aquarium are indicated by an icon that lets you identify and select the object even in a densely populated aquarium. That's very convenient. The aquarium editor is the place set up the tank. Move a selected object by dragging it with the left mouse button to place it, or the right mouse button to physically drag it. Um, inventory bar at the bottom of the screen shows all objects you own, sorted by categories, so you can drag and drop objects in your tank. Actions will be done, undone, or restored via the undo and redo buttons. Very nice. But it's only affects placement of objects, not their simulation state. Fair. Statistic screen. One, one page for your personal progress, one for your aggregate hit inventory, and one for each own tank. Each own tank. You can have multiple. The tank statistics are further divided into an overview page, a balance page, and a history page. The overview page shows the current state of the water quality parameters and lets you switch to the active tank. The balance page gives you an uh, account of the current dynamic equilibrium of oxygen, carbon, and nitrogen. On the history page, it gives you a historical time series of the water quality parameters. Cool. <laughs> uh, the Blue World Shop allows you offers you numerous fish, plants, decorative elements, accessories, and equipments to about to realize your dream aquarium, as well as food, medicine, and chemicals to be prepared for every situation. We advance to a higher level, or receive a new quest, or maybe new items for you to purchase. Visit regularly. I feel like I should have access to subs because I got that quest. I wonder if it... But it seems to require a level 2. 
The quest section offers a range of challenges for you to take on. The rewards for successful completion of quests may be experience, money, and sometimes a special item. Solving quests is entirely optional, but some quests are recommended as a continuation of the tutorial to help you f get familiar with Biotope. The quest list on the left-hand side has tabs for available, ongoing, and complete quests. Quests are hidden until you meet the eligibility criteria. The right-hand side provides a detailed description and a breakdown of the quest success conditions, which will be continuously updated when a quest is in progress. In the Analyze view, you can see at a glance what your condition of your aquarium is in. If a plant or fish is colored yellow or red, that means you should act. These creatures have stress or in bad shape. If you see a heart symbol above a ship, uh, fish is ready to breed. Okay, cool. So, yellow... And that's really good. The Analyze view is very helpful, actually, on that note. I'm going to look at that in a minute, but first... Aquarium hardware. Aquarium uh, hardware devices like lamps or filters behave as any other objects. Like we drink for inventory and blah, blah, blah. And it's constrained to the walls or top, usually. The device controls are accessible in the info control window. The alternative way to access the info control window is via the specialized button. Yeah, I saw those. Uh, that's good that there's a shortcut way. Uh, info control window. Object details can be viewed in the so-called info control window, which is open by double-clicking on the object to be examined. All right. The upper part shows the most important information. The lower part varies depending on the selected object. Okay. We're, uh, some of our fish are stressed. Let's see if we can figure out how to deal with that. But that, let me go through the tutorial the rest of the way first. Hi, Essler. We need to take care of the plants. We probably need to take care of everything, including the equipment. It could break down. Um, experience can be gained by successfully competing quests, preventing stress to your animals and plants. Okay, so if we fix the stress, we gain experience. Or successfully breeding offspring. If you've collected enough experience, you'll advance your Aquarius... 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 Aquarius level. You, you can see your progress in this regard under the player information page. Yep. Higher levels will give you access to more items. Uh, more decorative accessories, blah, blah, blah. Powerful hardware. New quests will also be unlocked and your monthly budget increased. Oh, so we have a monthly budget. So if we advance time, we get more money. Okay. That that explains how we get money. Because we just need a month, monthly budget. So if we have a higher level experience, we have more money to work with too. Game economics. Each Aquarius has a budget for its hobby. The higher your Aquarius level, the more money you have available weekly. Keep in mind that you will have certain fixed costs for each tank and each inhabitant in the form of electricity and food. However, by solving quests or breeding and selling fish... Oh, that's another way to make money. You can generate additional income. The sell price of fish is dependent on their DNA rating. Okay. You can also sell off any hardware you no longer need or don't like. So if you breed good stock, you can sell them higher price. There's a lot of detail to this. Um... At the end of each week, the simulation pause shows you a summary of your achievements and failures during the last seven days. If you keep your fish and plants at a low stress level, you'll be rewarded with extra experience points and additional money. So if we keep the stress level down at the end of a week, we get more money and stuff. Okay. Creature stress. Oh, yes. You should take care that inhabitants feel comfortable in their aquariums. You can do this by creating a species appropriate environment. If you do not succeed, the stress level of your animals will increase. The current stress level, as well as a breakdown of the relative factors, can be viewed under the stress tab in the info control window. Stress animals are unhappy and do not reproduce. If the stress level is critical, 80% uh, or higher, the creatures lose their health and eventually die. Okay. The following factors influence the stress. Temperature, pH, oxygen saturation, ammonia and nitrite, and... And that's the end of the page. I imagine pairing up with the wrong fish also increases stress, though. Um, okay, fair. The water quality. The most important cycles for water quality of aquarium are the nitrate cycle, the open and carbonate system. In the nitrate cycle, toxic ammonia is converted to nitrate via nitrate. Ni nitrate via nitrite. The responsible bacteria have to grow in a new aquarium, so you should be careful of the fish until the aquarium has been run in. Yeah, you gotta have irresponsible bacteria. You don't want any of those hooligan bacteria that just hang out around in the back of alleys and like put to free graffiti on the walls. You don't want those. You want the responsible bacteria. <laughs> the open carbonate system connects CO2 for the air, dissolve CO2, dissolve carbonic acid, dissolve calcium, as well as to lime deposits with one another depending on pH. The change of one aspect of the equilibrium always entails a change in all the other aspects. Ventilation can increase the speed of gas exchange of air. The solubility of CO2 is temperature dependent. There's a lot to this, but it makes sense. Feeding fish. Fish must be fed regularly. This is done in the aquarium editor by dragging a food can out of the container, after which a dose sheet totally appears. You can set the desired amount. Dose, dose about 2 to 5% of the fish on weight per day. Okay. If you feed too little, the fish will not grow anymore, lose weight, and eventually die. On the other hand, if you feed too much, excess food decomposes into toxic ammonia. You don't want that. Plasophosis. 
Plants can produce oxygen, but need light and CO2 for the photosynthesis to do so. Only a plant without that produces more oxygen than it, it needs for itself is a net producer of oxygen. Without light, plants also have to respire oxygen. This is why there is increased risk of critical water values, particularly at night. The amount of light and CO2 at which the oxygen budget of the plant is just the balance is called the compensation point. These figures, as well as the current photosynthetic efficiency, can be viewed under the photosynthesis tab in the info control menu. The development measure for light is called PAR, photosynthetically active radiation. Offspring of breed. To get fish to reproduce, they must feel comfortable to do so. This requires their stress level and other parameters to be within acceptable range, the details of which are shown under the reading tab of the infant control menu window. If an adult female is ready for reproduction and has produced enough eggs, you may manually trigger the ovulation progress process. After ovulation, male fish of the same species will become interested and eventually mate. Failure to mate within a certain time frame will result in the eggs dying of at rest at restia. Never heard of that word. A female that is ready to ovulate is marked with a heart symbol in the analyzed view. Starving fish do not produce eggs until they have regained their normal weight. A lot of information, but it all makes sense, and it all actually is... Like, I know some stuff about this because I like science. So, I'm aware of the water cycles and just kind of the cycles. Like, the balance you have to keep between the fish contaminating their own tank and other forms of contamination of the tank, in addition to how you can purify the tank. The timer is half over. Yeah, this has been the whole game so far. It's a, it, it's, it's a similar, dude. It doesn't move fast. But it's alright. Uh, so, now that I've learned a little bit more, we can now... I can, I, I'm aware that I can now double-click these guys. So let's take a look and see how they're doing. So this guy, for instance, he currently has full health and almost no stress. So he's in good shape. Now it makes sense because he's the alpha. He's the one that's like semi-aggressive. So what, let's take a look at his stress. What does it come from? So I guess the markers indicate where they are in their stress. So... The temperature is just right in the middle point for him. If it it's right in the middle, pretty much exactly where it should be in the green. So you want to get more as in, you want to get as middle green as you can. So we can see here he's doing great. Everything is working out great for him. Um, he's also male, so okay. He has zero eggs. Well, he is male. <laughs> so pH needs to be below. Se so to, to mate, he, the pH needs to be below seven, which I guess is not. It's, he's happy, but to mate, he needs lower pH, lower GH, and, low, and higher temperature. Okay. This is very complex, but also well-organized. I, I really like how it's laid out. Like, this is really good right here. This is a lot of information on this page, but the way it's laid out with red, orange, yellow, and green, and markers makes it immediately easy to tell exactly how your fish is doing, even with all this complex information. It's one thing to design a game with a lot of complex features. It's another thing entirely to design it in a way that's easy to visualize and understand. This is actually very impressive. So let's see. So he's doing fine. Let's see how the other fish are, though. This guy here, he has a bit of stress. So let's take a look at him. See what he can do to fix that. So what is he unhappy about? He doesn't like the pH. It's not ideal for him. Temperature isn't either. I mean, he's still in the green, but it's not perfect for him. If I lowered the pH a little bit, he'd be happier. All right, what about the other? Okay, also, we can go into this view to make it easier. No, not that one. Where is it? Uh, this one. Yes. To make it easier to select fish, you can do this. So... This guy here, I just want to make sure that as long as everything's in green, that's good enough for me. So, yeah, there's some stress here and there, but nothing major. 16% doesn't seem to be that big a deal. But I do want to look. So I, I don't know how breeding works, but I have to assume it stays within the same species. And right now, I have a variety of fish. I don't know if te all Tetris can breed of each other. Maybe there's a fish expert who could tell me if a black neon tetra can breed with a cardinal tetra, but I don't know. So what I'm going to focus on this neon tetra and this other neon tetra because I got two of them. Or wait, no, two two cardinals. I have two cardinals. So this for, this cardinal here is male, and this cardinal here is female. So that works out perfectly. 14 days till maturity, so it can't actually do any breeding right now. Uh, you need to lower pH anyway for the other fish to breed. This is true. I could probably just lower it down a bit. Seems like most of the fish would like a lower pH. I think all the fish would like a lower pH. The cardinals certainly do. Neon, did you like a lower pH? 
Yeah, you'd like a slightly lower pH. And what about you? Would you like a lower pH? Yeah, you don't really care, but you'd like a lower pH. So let's. So what is our pH right now? Let's go to our filter. Um, I don't actually. Let's see. How do we affect pH? Now that's the thing I gotta remember. So our pH is seven point two. 7.02. I think what we probably want is like five. Uh, let's do 5.5. That's probably good. So how do we get it to there? That's the question. Hmm. Indeed, we do have tap water. Always have tap water. Let's go to tap water. If we add tap water, we can raise the pH. We don't want to do that though. So we'll probably need an item that can lower the pH. Seven is fine for now. All the fish are fine enough. Let's go ahead and advance time so we get some more money. Let's go ahead and get to, uh, we're still on day one. Let's just advance time a little bit. We're gonna hold down this button to kind of see how things to do it. Actually, no. This button. This this right here is really handy. You hit this button, you can immediately see the health of every single thing in the tank. This is another, again, this is a very detailed game. It's it's calculating a lot of different, like, values. It's very realistic. But at the same time, there's a lot of functions that let me see how things are doing easily. So here, if, if everything is green, then we are fine. Oh, we got a new quest. Let's see what we've got here. Clearly, I should be advancing time more. Um... It's odd, though, that there isn't actually a hunger meter in this. I guess we just, I guess the hunger meter is essentially their weight. If their weight's good, then we're good. I don't know how often we want to feed them, but maybe the quest will tell us. Let's see. Fish are happy if their stress levels are less than 20. Keep at least five fish in one of your aquariums and make sure they're happy for five days. Can do. But it is a little tricky because there isn't a proper hunger meter. Uh, I just have to kind of pay attention. If they lose weight, that means that I'm obviously not feeding them enough. It's been two days since I fed them. Maybe I should feed them again? I'm not sure. That's the one thing I'm a little dicey about at the moment. Like, how, how quickly, how often do I need to feed them? How often do you feed fish in real life? Once a day? Saturation. Three meals a day. For fish? I don't know if that sounds like a lot of food. I'd feed him once a day. Yeah, let's go ahead and drop some food in. Now, again, I, I think last time I, I was offered any amount, I think, I believe I want to do, I believe I want to do 0.2, because I think I did 0.2 last time. So I think that's fine. It said... Uh, the help guide said about feeding, let's see, what would it say? It said, dose about 2 to 5% of a fish on weight per day. So in other words, what is 5% of all these fish together? 3.2? Wait. Yeah, that's milligrams. This guy's a big guy. I really, I'm bad at math, so we'll just do two. <laughs> it's probably fine. Stay in this view to make sure they look good. If I see any, if I see their uh, health going out of green, I will obviously change something. Quest failed. Well, you know, I didn't have enough money. I'm sorry. I really didn't. I didn't even have the right level. I need to be level two, and I needed fifty euros for a minimum. So didn't work out. I am only level. Uh, what level am I? I see I'm level one. Let's make sure of that. Eh, eh, statistics bounce. Actually, where do I get this information? Oh my goodness, I forgot. Which paddle was it? There it is. Household.
Less than 20% stress. How's everybody's stress? Okay, your stress is a little high. Yours is too. The Cardinals are not happy. What is what is your issue? Uh, the pH is getting too high. Is it, has the pH raised? It looks like the pH is raised. Yeah, no, it's lowered actually. What? Hmm. Alright. That's odd. I mean, I guess it's the stress level still fine, but if that's more time. Let's go another day and then we'll we'll see. Alright, how's everybody doing now? Okay, it's still that's I guess it's fine. Thirteen's fine, so as long as I'm going up more. pH goes down slightly over time. Makes sense, I think. I think that's how science works. We could touch it up again, but it's not really necessary at this moment. It's not really that low. Their stress is just kind of varies now and then. It went down for some, went up for others. But it's nothing bad. Um, we got a new quest. Let's take a look. Botanist. Besides oxygen, so when I accept the quest, it feed five plants in your make sure the make sure the plant stress level. I should check the stre plant stress level. I did not think to check the plant stress level. Hey, plant, are you stressed out? That's good. <laughs> Plant's not stressed. Plant's okay. Ah, uh, see, I'm having trouble selecting this object, but I can just hold down this button. There. Um, yeah, I guess they kind of, yeah, seems fine. Everything seems fine here. And we're going to hit day seven's end, and then something will happen. Let's see how the fish are doing. Yep, everything seems fine. Everything seems to be a good holding pattern. Let's see how their weight is, though. Oh, the weight's dropping. Time to feed them. I haven't done that in a few days. I kind of forgot. <laughs> it's fine. Here, let's give them some extra food, because I did that. There. Double. Double the food. Enjoy. Can I see if the food actually, like... Yeah, there's the food pellets. So, can I see, like, if there's extra food? Like, that one's not being gone for, but... Oh, never mind. There, are you feeling better now? Just a little light. Need, need to make sure they're fat, but not too fat so we don't leave substrate the, or leave food at the bottom of the rots. Actually, technically, if I'm supposed to feed two milligrams a day, let me do one more feeding. There you guys go. You seem hungry. As long as it's not falling to the bottom, I think I'm fine. Basically. We'll see how we'll see how they are another day. Everything seems fine here. All right, let's see how we did. Uh, we got twenty extra uh, euros. Uh, we had to spend seven for electricity. Uh, bonus for stress-free. Well, they weren't stress-free, but I did fine. Within green range, 250 euros for that. Acknowledge. I will acknowledge this. I acknowledge that I have gained some money. How's your How's your weight? Oh, you need more food. Do I ever run out of food, or is it just an endless food thing? Oh, no, I do. I have, I have a certain amount left. Okay. I'm just going to feed them a ton at this point, because I think they need more food. Oh, will they, actually, will they eat at night? I'm not even sure. I think they will. Looks like they certainly did. Got to get their weight up there, guys. I might, I might get into feeding them four kilograms per... I also have more food. I have elected to feed more. I hope, it, I hope it's okay that he just seems to be consuming everything. But, oh well, whatever. 
We can go back to the shop though. Let's take a look. Uh, we can buy a guppy, for instance. What do they like? I see. Buy a black widow tetra. Ooh, that's a peaceful one. Cockatoo dwarf chicken. What the hell is this fish? I like it. There's a small rivers in the Amazon areas of Peru and Colombia. You need to combine. You need to combine one male with several females. Okay. What a weird fish. Oh, you need more of these fish to keep them happy. Nice discipline to be able to hide. Okay. I get a beach ball. Uh, what else can I get? Wood bark. Anchor. Still can't get those submarines I was asked to get. Hollow trunk. Oh, I like these. That's a good place for a hatchery? I might buy that. 27 fucking euros, though, for a, tr for a log. What's in here? Table salts. Uh, okay. Less than impact nitrate poison, uh, nitrite poisoning. Increased pH and hardness. Well, we don't. Technically, do we? Wait, do we? We have a lower pH, right? This lowers pH. Okay. Let's do reverse osmosis. Wow, that's expensive. It also requires a higher level. Uh, solid home produces softened DNI and ice water that will be the frog chains. Oh, cool. That's good. Um, let's see. This will raise KH. This will increase GH and KH. This will hydrochloric acid. What? I was going to say, like, uh, isn't that what's in your stomach? <laughs> Digest the fish by dumping the bottle into the in the tank. <laughs> um, lower cage by two degrees. Okay, and this will raise so ammonia. So is that good? Oh yeah, for plants or nitrifying bacteria. Okay, magical growth tincture. This powerful tincture magically accelerates the growth of a plant for a short time. Must be applied directly to the plant in question. It lasts for about three full. Wait, the plants grow? I didn't even think about that. I found magical magical rope tincture. This is this is not this is not a scientific item. I like this. I like this is just in here. Uh, we also got the sa table saw is for yeah saltwater fish. This is true. Uh, what's this do? Uh, strains of beneficial nitri nitrifying bacteria uh, to prevent buildup of high levels of ammonia and nitrite in new tanks or after filter changes. Okay, and this uh, is just food. More food. Find new food. I kind of want to use the magical growth, growth tincture. This is very, very magical. Hmm. I can also buy new tanks. So I can have multiple displays. I think in the meantime... Yeah, let's buy some Let's buy some growth tincture. Because I'm just kind of fascinated by this. Let's also buy more food. Swoosh. I like the swoosh noise. Advanced time. I want to get. I want to get to daytime. Give me daytime. There we go. How are the fish doing? They must be fatter. I did complete a quest. I got experience. Did I level up? Nope, not yet. How are, how are the plants? Are they? Are the plants are not stressed. That's good. Don't push freshwater fish to saltwater tanker vice. Yeah, it looks like this is like the most fucking important thing, probably. <laughs> Thankfully, fairly obvious. All right, so we're gonna use some. We're gonna. Well, first off, we're gonna feed the fish. We're gonna feed them. You know what? They're gonna get six. Enjoy. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so uh, let's see. How does this work? Let's like. like what if I want to grow the uh, this little tiny guy? He's kind of small. Uh, select the injection target. Did I select the one? 
I don't know. Let's see. Can I like do that? Uh, yeah, so it's selected, and now we can dump, uh, so how does this work again? Must be applied directly to the plant, lasts for three filled dosages, one dose will allow eight hours of magical growth. So let's see if this little guy grows really magically in eight hours. Three milliliters, okay. Alright, there we go. Magical growth for eight hours, let's see how it does. Alright, and time will fly, and now! Oh my god. That was magical. <laughs> Just add salt to the fresh water. I mean, you could do that. You'd be surprised how many people make that mistake. That, yeah, people that own fish because they're pretty and not because they care about the fact they're animals. They're not very smart animals, but they're animals will say, well, that's, I say that, but there's actually some really smart fish out there. Six, 12 days till maturity. You're getting there. Oh, their weight's good. Good. I got finally got the weight meter to actually look good. At least on that fish. That one could use more. Okay, you know what? Next feeding session. I'm going to feed twice every single day. That should be enough. Uh, let's, let's fast the next day. And then when it becomes... When the light turns on, I will then give them... Again, I'm just going to always feed four every single day. That should be fine, I think. Though it only looks like certain fish are gaining the food, I think it's being shared, so. Uh, also, yeah, all the plants are technically getting bigger, actually. So what was this again? Three full doses. Uh, three milliliters. Okay. Let's grow, let's grow some more plants. This one, apply. And I'd like to apply to this one, too. There we go. Now those two will grow. I want, I want some big, healthy plants. Weird-looking fish that have great personality, extremely smart. Yeah, for instance, uh, Japanese koi can be very smart. They can be, they can get used to feeding times and like, they're actually sociable. Like they'll come out of the water and get pets. Some of them. Well, not come out of the water, but surface so they can get pets. It's kind of cute. All right, so. Now, look at those plants. I think, yeah, I think the best uh, course of action is just to dump four, four grams every single day in. That seems to be good. Seems to keep them proper. I'm really just watching the big guy's uh, weight. If his weight's good, I think everybody else's weight is fine, too. Are they not going to go for that one? As long as we're eating all the food, it's fine. I do know that some fish can die from overeating, but it seems like this game doesn't necessarily have that function. It seems that if you have excess food, it just doesn't get eaten, and then it can add to the toxicity of the water because it decomposes. Um, doesn't seem to be an issue to overfeed the fish, though, at least. Stress level. How are our plants doing? They should be... Oh, no! What happened? What happened to our plants? Hold on a minute. Did I make them too big? Oh, the pH. Oh, I haven't paid attention to the pH. Alright, let's fix the pH. Yeah, that pH is low. Actually, kind of surprised our fish aren't stressed out. Oh, they are. Never mind. <laughs> Holy shit! 94.9! Hold on now. Oh, wait, he's at 16%. Oh, I did not pay attention to the pH. <laughs> My fish are about to die. I didn't even notice. Alright, let's fix that immediately. Right. Surprised nobody's actually died. So it seems like our weak link is the Black Neon Tetra. He's kind of a wuss. He died. He's dying. He's dying first. All right. So that fixed the pH immediately. It looks like it did. He's not dead yet. I did fix the pH, so maybe he'll chill out. Let's see. Or maybe he'll just slowly die anyways. 
See, his stress level went right back to zero, so what's that mean for his health? Well, anyways, let's feed. Did I feed yet today? I don't remember. Let's feed. Let's feed. They all fix his health. <laughs> hey, plants, are you good? Okay, the plants are fine now. They, they immediately fix. You should get Mizuko to play this game in your seed in your stead. He'll look at, he knows how to look at a fish since he's a fish dog. He's still a test. He's not a fish. How rude. Wait. Are you, what, what are you doing? You're just hanging against the glass. Where, where'd, the, where'd the dead fish go? Oh, there he is. Oh, his health is uh, slowly improving. Let's advance time a little bit. Where'd he go? There he is. Okay, his health is going back up. We're fine. We're fine. pH is too high? Wait, what? Hold on. How'd that happen? I I overdid it somehow? I've set it to 7. Oh well. Yeah, pH is definitely too high now. How did I do that? Well, let's lower it down. It's very hard. It's a balancing act. Um, okay. Let's go back to 7. By buying something. What lowers pH? He's the least part fish. I suppose this can be argued. I forget how to lower pH lowers over time, doesn't it? Let's see. It's it's definitely going up. It's definitely going up. Did I just add too much pH? Did I add too much water, I guess? I don't know. I raised it to 7, but it's going up higher. Okay, now it's dropping again. Huh. And up. And it went back up. It's going up during the day. Heat dissipates pH levels. Do I have too much heat then? Or dissipates. So I want higher heat if I want lower pH. I mean, I can mess with the heat. Do I want lower p? Do I want a lower um, temperature? Would that help? Let's see. Wait, did I move the meter? Oh shit! Hold on. Oh shit! Now moved it. Let's try lowering it down to. 22, and let's just see what the pH does. We're experimenting now. Doesn't move, goes down a little bit. Down, uh, okay. I should probably feed the fish again. Is anything dead yet? Oh, the Black Bean Treasures has approved. Though I have a quest to keep the stress level of the plants down, so I'm kind of failing that right now. Needs to be below 20%. I just want these things to stop being so stressed out. The pH is, yeah, the pH is too high. I know. I know the pH is too high for you, Mr. Plant. What do I do about this? All right, fine. We're going to lower tips for more. One more degree. There we go. Okay. And I guess food time. So I forgot feeding. You have eight there. Enjoy. <laughs> Food for everyone. How are you doing? Oh, you're old enough now. Okay. These fucking plants, guys. All right, let's keep let's keep an eye on this while we advance time. So, it's going down 
Now it's going down. Is it going actually down? It's going actually down now. Okay. So plants, almost, almost in the good zone. Almost in the good zone. Three, two, there we go. It's way better at night. You can tell that when night happens, and then the stress goes back up. All right. How are fish doing? Okay, what what the fuck's wrong with your stress level? What what happened? Ah! Oh, you don't like the pH being that? High? I know, right? <laughs> Wait, how did it get did it get higher or something? No, it did. I can't fucking lower this pH, guys. <laughs> I'm not smart enough to lower pH. Uh, let's see here, actually. There's no item that lowers pH. So you just kinda gotta do it naturally, I guess, but. Hmm. This is really actually kind of interesting, though. <laughs> you got the rare slurp. There's occasionally non bark options for Nightbot. But yeah, this is really cool. I'm actually invested in this, and it's not often I get invested in simulators. I don't know how to adjust the pH. Maybe we'll come back to this and try to figure out how to adjust the pH. Um, I don't know how to lower it. Like, there's nothing in particular that allows me to lower it, aside from just hoping the time does it, I think. But uh, yeah, all the same. This is Biotope, Aquarium Simulator, and this is cool. This is a really well done simulator. It's both user friendly and complex at the same time. And it's an early access, so it can only go up from here, I imagine. Uh, definitely check this out if you got interested in this sort of thing, or you just want a relaxing game. Well, sort of relaxing. I almost killed a fish, but you know. <laughs> that was Biotope, Aquarium Simulator.